hello my youtube fans welcome again to my channel i want to talk to you today about the concerns i have in canada as it relates to the insurance industry based on what i um have learned as uh, someone who studied the invention the history of um insurance in general in a nutshell this is what happens it's like say a group of a hundred people decide to pool their money together to cover each other in the event of an accident or a death or a tragedy now it is highly improbable that all 100 people at the same time is going to have an accident, a death, or a tragedy. So what insurance is, is when everybody pool their money together to help the one out of the 100, or the two, or the three out of the 100, or let's say five out of the 100 who um, had a, a tragedy. And so all the money that is pooled together will go towards helping those persons who have the tragedy or the accident. And that was the inception of insurance. That was the idea. However, I notice in Canada, the whole idea of the insurance has been um, changed altogether. It's no longer a pool of these people taking your money and um, keeping it for when there is an accident. What the insurance industry want is for you to be paying every month. Everyone is paying exorbitant insurance in Canada and they are expected not to have an accident, not to make a claim, not to have a tragedy so that the insurance can just profit from this premium. And that is a real ripoff in this country. The insurance industry in Canada is a real ripoff. I was living in Jamaica, and the amount that I used to pay for um, insurance per year, I was paying more than that per month in Canada. I saw a gentleman the other day was uh, migrating from Canada to live in Mexico. I asked him why. And he, when he told me about the high taxes in Canada, he told me about the cost of uh, living, the cost of insurance. Yeah, he says what he's paying, um, it's like a um, what what he pays per 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 year. Yeah, what he pays. Well, let me put it: what he pays per month, I should say, in Canada is what he would pay for the year unless in uh, Mexico. And no wonder why people are packing their bags to leave this damn country because the government always are protecting these big conglomerates and don't see to it that they fulfill their mission. The insurance industry is there to collect your premium so that when there's a tragedy, they come to your rescue. But what I find now is if you have an accident, they penalize you. Your premium shot up to the sky, yeah, and they use it against you. If you can't, uh, if you decide to cancel your insurance for a period of time because you're not using the vehicle, later on they make it sure it comes back to bite you. So damned if you do, damned if you don't in this country, right? This is how Canada is running, and, it's, and, and the government uh, of the day does not go about to see that these things are very oppressive. They're very oppressive to people who are just barely getting by in this country, right? And they don't give a rat's ass as long as they're making the big corporation fat up themselves off people's premium, don't want to pay out any money when there's an accident, don't want to um, take on any risk. I've had a peop insurance company turning me down saying I had two accidents within, um, within two years and that they can't cover me. Seriously? What the, what the hell insurance is there for? What are you collecting people's premium for, insurance industry? 
What are you collecting for so that you can just um, show how much billions of dollars you made as a profit, right? That's it. That is what it has amounted to. And there is no government in the land to protect consumers from this fraud. They are talking about insurance fraud committed by the local man. They are the ones who are committing the damn fraud every day. By collecting people's premium, and don't expect that you're you're going to, especially in this country, where every winter, every winter, no matter how skillful a driver you are, those roads are going to be slippery, and your stand a chance of no matter how skillful you are, you stand a chance of having an accident, which is which is almost unavoidable, no matter what you do. I am not a bad driver. I've been driving for over thirty years, but I've had like um a small mishap on a on a plaza and the lady made a claim against me because i barely um you know i my car skid and touched her bumper yeah and so she made an uh, uh, um she made a claim and th these things they use against you in the in the in the insurance industry so so their aim is just let us collect all the premiums and say how much to our shareholders we are made and how fat we are and how big we are and whenever anybody out there have an accident we are going to make sure we pump up their insurance so high that they cannot afford it or it's going to be between whether they eat food or they pay their car insurance you see why there's so much um problems and that's why sometimes you will always have people trying to go around the system because these people create criminals they create uh, an atmosphere of, of oppression and there's nobody that you can turn to the insurance industry in canada is fraudulent and criminal by allowing are not um, making people, uh, not expecting that you're going to have an accident and don't want to pay out and don't want to take on the risk, yet they are there um, collecting your premiums when the whole idea of insurance is to take on the risk just in case somebody among the, the thousands and everybody is mandated to have insurance. Everybody is mandated to have insurance. If not, you're going to be paying a fine. If they catch you driving without it right so when you're and so th the thousands of vehicles that are on the road everybody is paying through their teeth and these insurance companies are collecting the premiums and they penalize you if you dare have an accident on the first in the first place that's why we need insurance just in case you have an accident seriously what the hell is going on in canada what the hell is going on in this country and the little Canadians, they are so, act, they are so, I don't know what to, how to, to classify these people. They just sit and take everything and all they do is change government to government. And, and uh, let's throw a truth and put in share and whatever. And think that some damn messiah is going to come to your aid. No messiah is going to come to your aid. The people need to rise up and ask. Uh, and, and instead of just jumping out of, uh, and going to Mexico and going over Costa Rica and Panama to migrate. People need to rise up in this country and say enough is it enough. See what's happening in America there? America, there are people sleeping on the streets, people living in their car, their vans, their RVs. Not because they want to, but because of what the system is doing to impoverish people all over the, both America and Canada and, rest and parts of the world. Yeah? And, 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 they, and they, they are trying to sort out Venezuela. They are trying to sort out Venezuela uh, because, the, the, because Maduro is making the Venezuelan people suffer while their own people, your own people are being oppressed in your own damn country and on the don't do nothing about it. Yeah? And when we make videos like these and, and speeches like these, they try to shadow ban it and try to play um, with the, the algorithm because they don't want people to speak. Uh, they just want you to go and see me, see and make it look like everything is damn okay when everything is not okay at the ground level with the common man. And the Canadian people are ju are ju just sit and take everything that the government throw on them. When they need money, instead of finding ways to invent and to bring about money, the, the only way that the, the, these um, city halls and places know to bring about money is to tax you on your property. 
and to take more and more and more and more from you on a daily basis. The only way they know how to get money for roads and hospitals and things is to get it on out the back of your labor. And you sit and you keep quiet and we say nothing and everybody is okay with it. And keep be nice and be quiet. And that is what they want. Jesus. Mercy. And the people just, just take it all in. And nothing to say. Anyway. That's my speech for today.